Hey everybody, today we're going to show you a really fun project here at Adafruit, it's LED origami. Uh, we're going to show you how to make this light up LED frog and a lotus flower with an LED in the center. And Riss is going to help us. All you'll need is LEDs, copper tape, and origami paper. To make the lotus flower, start with a square of origami paper and fold it in half diagonally to make a triangle. Then unfold and repeat in the other direction. When you open it back up, you should have creases in the shape of the letter X. This X reveals the center point of the paper. So next, fold each corner to that center point and crease your folds with a hard tool like a bone fold or the handle of your scissors. Next up, just do that all over again. Take the new corners and fold them to meet the center point, creasing your folds as you go. Okay, one more time. For a third round, take the corners, bring them to the center point and crease your folds. Then flip the whole thing over and fold each corner up just a little bit, about a third of the way to the center. It doesn't have to be precise, just try to keep them consistent. Flip it back over and start peeling back the petals. You'll take them from the center towards the outer edge and around to the front of the flower, kind of like peeling off a pair of socks. Do this for all four petals in the first layer. And then repeat with the second layer of petals that are now exposed. This is the trickiest part of the whole flower because the petals tend to want to rip at the edges, so be extra careful and practice a lot. You'll be a pro in no time, having more lotus flowers than you know what to do with. And finally, peel back the final layer of petals exposing the other side of the paper at the very bottom of the lotus, and this will also make the center of the flower only one layer of paper thick, which will make it easy to install our LED later. But first, let's learn how to make the origami frog. Start with a large square and fold in half to make a rectangle. Then take one of the corners and fold it up to meet that center crease. This makes a long skinny triangle that's bisected and half patterned and half colored on the paper we're using. Repeat this on the other side. Leave this side folded and then fold over one more time so that the new lower right hand corner meets up with the left hand side. Then unfold and repeat on the other side. Now you've got sets of radiating folds that'll help you form the basic shape of the frog. Invert these middle folds as shown and then bring those folds to the center line collapsing the form like this, with the triangle towards the top. Then fold one of the flaps over to the left, then back up on itself so the bottom edge now aligns with the center line. Then make a valley fold in the triangle that joins the outer end of the flap to the body so that the whole flap is folded upon itself. Repeat the whole process on the other side. Fold it up to meet itself, then crease the middle triangle to flatten it out. Open up one of the flaps and bring long edges together to make a crease. Then use this crease to invert a small section of paper that helps sort of splay the arms apart from each other. Fold the flaps back out flat as shown. To form the front legs, uh, fold any remaining uh, backside of the paper you see in half along the length of the front leg, and then compensate for that fold by opening up more of that other side of the paper lower down in the frog. Next, make the front arms a bit skinnier by folding them in half lengthwise, and then you can even take each half of the leg and fold it in half to make the legs even skinnier. Further shape the front legs of the frogs by making small inversions. Then start the back legs by folding up these little flaps of paper that we're showing, and then folding up the entire back end of the frog about a third of the way up the body. Make a crease and then fold the legs over towards the center of the body. This angle doesn't have to be precise, but try to be consistent on both sides. Then fold the leg back out to where it was with another fold that's parallel to the one you just made, and you're done. This is a perfectly fine frog. If you'd like to add a little extra bounce, unfold the rear feet and fold the whole frog in half at the center back. Then fold the body to one side to make a diagonal crease, open it back up and refold the feet except now you have this crease at the center back that you can use to make the frog into like a dome shape. And then on the inside of the frog, you use the way the legs are folded to secure that new crease you just made at the back of the frog. Now it's finally time to add the LEDs. Just sandwich the leads of an LED around a battery until it lights up and tape it inside the frog. Adding an LED to the flower is just as simple. Just pierce it through the center of the flower and you can reinforce the paper with a little bit of tape if you'd like. And then bend the leads over to one side and attach the battery with tape. 
if you skip the battery, you can actually use a piece of ITO, it's like conductive clear plastic, to make a lily pond for your flower and your frog. Score a line down the middle to create a positive and negative side, hook it up to a battery pack, and just splay your leads of your LED out to touch either side. You can add LEDs to almost any origami form, so I look forward to seeing yours on our weekly show and tell on Google+. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube.